When I met Matthias Kavira for the first time, he was blending in with the useful African acrobats during a training session at Wu Tiao Acrobatics Training School in North China's Hebei Province. They were participating a two-month training session in China's famous town of acrobatics. This is his second time coming to China after a good 41 years. Matthias was among 24 youngsters who, in 1983, secured a scholarship domiciled in the China-Kenya Cooperation Agreement to study acrobatics in China at the tender age of 12. This is when you are coming from China. Yeah, eight. 24 acrobats, four Kenyan teachers. teachers. My first time to China. I came as a student. It was quite interesting, and uh, 41 years later, I've come as a teacher. Matthias gained a wide range of skills and use of apparatus after his training in China. Returning to Kenya, he opted out in the mid 1990s to start his own acrobatics training sessions. More than a thousand people have benefited from his training. And uh, this is a big trampoline. You are jumping from the trampoline. Yes. Everybody, you see, even the community, the kids from the community, they get excited when they see us training. Yes. When they see us training, they want to train. Can we try? Can we try? Eric Kimu is one of Matthias' students. In his opinion, acrobatics brought him discipline and more friends. I love it a lot. Oh, okay. Each and every day. You may learn something. Yeah. When you practice, you get self-discipline. You keep your, yourself busy practicing with your friends, and then getting more ideas. Yes. Get ideas from your friends, and then it may help you in future somewhere later.、Like. Sure. Judah Patrick, another student of Madias, was quite excited explaining to me the new skills he has learned in China.、Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh wow! He believed that skills learned here would help him to go abroad to perform.、Oh. I want to be a performer. Yeah, I remember on 2020, we used to go to Spain. Since I've come over here after two weeks, I trust and I believe I get more skills and more styles. Where I learn more skills, more styles, I can get a job abroad. Yeah, out of the country. Out of the country. Speaking of his bond with China, Matthias always got a little emotional. He hoped the span of friendship could pass on to the next generation. For me, when I touched this land, when I came back to China for twenty years later, I really felt that I've come back home.、Mm -hmm. And I can imagine myself if this is what I'm feeling after for twenty years. What will the young generation feel after for twenty years from now? It will be much more stronger. You? Very good. Very good. I like it so much. People、okay. here friendly. Yeah. And so accommodative. Yeah. Like they accommodate, like anyone. Like they don't know you, but they receive you in a peaceful way and lovely way. Yeah. I would love this program to go on because it has made changes in our country, and I love the the relationship to grow bigger and bigger.